Salvete omnes, nomen mihi est canicus. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the DDO Code Experiment. I am uh, back on, I think I'm on Thalanus, but I'm here to farm out some favor. I've already done Cobalt's new ringleader. Let's do walk the butcher's path. This isn't the fastest way to get, like this isn't the fastest quest. Um, but it is one of the higher amounts of favor. And it can be fun. power attack on. Okay, if you're not familiar with this quest, oh, hang on. Sorry about that, a neighbor decided it was time to mow the lawn. Which is unfortunate. It's a very nice day out. I don't say that very often where I live. And, uh, had the windows open. But that just seemed like a, a bit much in the way of ambient noise. So anyway, um, actually... Nah, I'm not going to bother with it. This is a relatively straightforward quest. Um, there's some hidden areas around to get your uh, slayer count. Well, not slayer count, but your, um, your kill count up. But, I mean, it's, it's called Walk the Butcher's Path. It's just, you know, go down the hall. Kill the, kill the bad guys. Nothing too terribly complicated. If you are uh, new... Oh gosh, I'm shaking. Alright. If you're new to this, and, and just new to DDO in general, and especially if you're playing on Elite, uh, one of the things to learn is where the Shaman show up. Um, and just focus on them. <clears throat> so, there we go. So it's really just walk around, kill. Now, if my will saves were higher, I wouldn't get hit by fear quite as much. A second. So we need to kill 20 more or 29 more kobolds or monsters in, in general, but most of these are kobolds. Now, if you're playing through the harbor, you may get the impression that DDO is about killing kobolds. And in the harbor, you'd be right. 
but there is a lot more to DDO than just cobalt after cobalt after cobalt. Each area can get repetitive in the types of monsters that you fight, but overall there are a lot of different areas, so as you level up, as you go to different areas, you know, we'll move on from kobolds and start fighting uh, bugbears and um, things like that. And then if you, if you go to Salt Marsh, you're going to be fighting lots of lizard people and bullywugs and things like that. And if you go to Feywild, it's satyrs and uh, pixies and red caps. The red caps are really annoying. But, um, you know, as you move through the game, you fight different monsters. You'll never guess what's in Giant Hold. Spoilers, it's giants. Alright, four left. So, without doing any of the secret little areas, I've killed plenty of people. Let's just survive and reach the end. Okay, we're actually going to finish before we get to this guy. Ah, that does happen sometimes. But So what happened there, if you're confused, um, as I was attacking... I technically hit those ropes, which is an automatic exit. So that's that's what happened there. I'm going to go with plus two con. While I'm over here, I'm going to do Recovering the Lost Tome on normal. This is going to be a very haphazard favor run. The I don't recommend doing it this way. Oh, My hireling has run out of time. That's okay. I don't really need a hireling for this one. The air is chilly and damp. Despite this, the books seem bone dry. Just wait for this guy. He must be at work here. The librarian scans the shelves, muttering to himself. Best wait for him to leave before trying to steal Dalsamara's books. I see why, from a story perspective, why it takes him so long. Like, you really want to wait for him to get out of the way, but... The librarian has left the room man, when you're in a hurry. The, book, the librarian's voice shrieks. I know your true intentions, thief. My traps will be the end of you. I've said this a lot over the course of my videos, but... I can remember... Ten years ago, longer playing this quest and feeling like it was just so big and so many different ways to go and I didn't know what I was doing and all this stuff and now oh no 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 okay well not having a hireling suddenly mattered there's no way I have the intelligence to do these runes 
can I? All right. This is really stupid. Don't do this. I'm going to try and get through this lightning. Oh, nope, nope. This is dumb. This is really bad. I'm going too slow. This is very stupid. Don't do this. This is really dumb. So why was I that stupid? Well, I was that stupid because see that rune over there? That's what turns off the lightning. But you need a certain intelligence score in order to activate that rune. And I don't have that intelligence score. I don't know what the intelligence score you need, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Actually, after all that mess, yeah. My intelligence is too low. Now, I have a large amount of hit points, so that worked out better than I expected it to. I'm also on normal. Try that on elite, and it's not going to go well. All right, so we need to pull one more lever, and that's through here. Come in and do this lever, and we've got to do two things before we can open up that barrier. So now we have to swim under here and pull another lever. So that we can go back over there and pull this other lever here. Makes perfect sense. If you try to figure out like what someone was thinking when they laid these buildings out and stuff, not not the devs, but the like whoever supposedly built this building and all that stuff, your head'll explode. Don't don't worry about it. Don't think about it too hard. The traps are where they are. The complicated, you know, levers and protections for the levers that open up the other doors for the levers, you know. Why are there crests of the snake in every other quest? Who cares? It's a game. Now, this is a bigger problem. I can't subvert that. Hmm. Forgot about that one. What do you do? What happens if I eat you? Nothing. What is my intelligence? Eight. Yeah, I'm not recovering from that. Okay. So, out we go. Ignoscate Mihi for that one. Let's go get a level three cleric. Excuse the sound of the soda. All right. How am I doing on favor? Sixty-two. We are well on our way. Uh, 
I would say this is a result of poor planning, but in all fairness, when I first started this character, I didn't plan on continuing. Now, this hireling here, this is the hireling that you get permanently with the $10 starter pack. Very, very much worth it. All right, lends aid to her companions. And this other level three says, Devout Father of the Sovereign Host seeks to defeat the forces of darkness. So if you need some, some damage and they'll heal you occasionally, then you want Aerithin. Yeah, Aerithin. If you want healing primarily, you want Aleary. Now, if you're a spellcaster... Leary has a very interesting ability. Let's see if right that excuse me is not shared by Arathan, and that is divine vitality. You see, it says available commands cure moderate wounds, command divine vitality, and remove paralysis. That divine vitality will re return some of your spell points. Very, very, very handy if you're a low level spellcaster. So I highly recommend Deliri. Especially with that um, starter pack. Even on, even on my VIP account, I have the starter pack. I have Aleary. I Because I play so much solo, I, I spend, some might say waste, uh, the money on the higher level expansion uh packs to get the permanent uh, gold seal hirelings because I, I rarely group I rarely um, I rarely play with others so I find the hirelings useful okay I'm going to come back and do this quest just because uh, is this the most exciting television on on the planet no But we're going to reset. Actually, you know what? We're not. Because I, I don't give a flip about the XP. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't care about the experience points. I'm just here for the favor. Although going through the uh, traps here is going to be fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. But I'm really not sure if O'Leary's going to make it. So I'm going to tell O'Leary to stay put. And I'm going to run through. And hopefully... She can heal me if I die. Nope. Awesome. Got through just fine. And then I hit the feet and she teleports right to me. No problem. Select the rune. Get O'Leary to open it for me. Don't need the collectibles. Let's just finish this quest. All right. Favor earned.